back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் and this video we are going to solve the today's daily challenge so today's date is january 21 so before enter into the video if you didn't like or subscribe our channel please do it so it will be a motivation for me to make daily videos so now let's get started so the question is reconstruct original string so what they have given is uh, we must get a string in a in a given matrix format that is r cross c and they have given in a vertical zigzag fashion so you might know that zigzag fashion exit left then in the next one it will be in the right and in the next one it will be left like that just thinking in your mind and next they have given that the empty cells are denoted by a hyphen and now we must reconstruct the original value of the string yes and print that as the output so you can see here the sample input here so there are total of four rows here so the value of r is four and there are total of five column one two three four five so the value of c will be five so the character represent in the uh, vertical zigzag fashion are given below so we must get in the vertical order that is skill okay you can say skill then r a c k then k p r o g r a m yes then hyphen 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 you can check like that it is going in a zigzag way so it is in the vertical zigzag way so and finally we must print how the order like went like that okay so this is the one so today you can check in the next also so far that it will go like this c a n d l e then uh, e okay you can see that e here is a m t t o d n r c h b like that h b o k like that it will going on so this is the one we are going to do and they have given that the empty cells are being denoted by the hyphen okay and now we must reconstruct the original value of the string and print that same as the output okay so today i'm going to solve this one using the python language so initially i'm getting the matrix in like this and without further delay what we are going to do is just using this while statement here so while true we must try what we should try uh, is the matrix will get appended to the uh, input dot strip okay since we are using here the strip function since in the question they have given that the string s is given in a matrix so in a matrix that is given as a string so i'm just using the strip function which is used to remove the white spaces from our input okay and here using the exit block here and here using the break statement here okay okay the first uh, we have completed successfully that is while true uh, we must try uh, matrix will get appended to the user's input uh, if it is fails then we must break the statement through it okay and now we are going to get the matrix so matrix is equal to list okay list of using the zip function here so zip the entire values in the matrix so just using the hash asterisk matrix here okay so initially we are getting the matrix here then while true we must try the matrix open to the input of the user and except we are using except block uh, to break that one and now getting the matrix using the zip function of the entire values in the matrix okay now uh, what we are going to do is oh my god my try line has been erased so okay and here the matrix will get appended to the users input dot strip function okay so now it's good and my except statement so except and using a break statement here okay so now get the matrix from the user and now the string okay just mention it is a string and now we must looping through the uh, entire length of the matrix so for that i'm just using for row in range 
of length of the matrix okay since it is a string it may contain the length so i'm just getting the length for it so for row in range of length of the matrix and here we are going to give a condition if row percentage 2 equals 0 then the string s yes gets incremented to a uh, dot join of the matrix of the row here okay so if the row percentage 2 is equal to 0 then the string width incremented to with the row of the matrix okay and if this conditions get failed then the s gets incremented and will get join with the matrix matrix of the row and row it will get from the reversed one so just we are using this python splitting split concept here to reverse the entire strings okay and finally we are printing what we are going to print is must print s dot replace so in this python this replace function is used to replace the value after this line what we are going to do is we must print this yes dot replace okay so this in the python this replace function is used to uh, replace yes certain characters into some other characters so so just what we are going to replace is we must replace this hyphen uh, with the empty space okay so just i'm mentioning a string here so this is the main value and this will get changed after the comma what value we are going to give if this value occurs in our things it will get changes with this okay so now let us run the code and check for the output and you can see that our code has been successfully passed without getting any error and if this video finds useful uh, please do like share subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next video thank you for watching this one